The unfinished portrait is a watercolor of Franklin Delano Roosevelt that was in progress at the time of his collapse and subsequent death. History In 1943, painter Elizabeth Shimatov was told by her friend and client Lucy Mercer of Efford, current mistress of the president, You should really paint the president. He has such a remarkable face. There is no painting of him that gives his true expression. I think you could do a wonderful portrait, and he would be such an interesting person to paint. Would you do a portrait of him if it was arranged? Rutherford would go on to make the arrangements, with Shimatov agreeing to sit in for two days within two weeks' time. She said of the agreement, I was trapped into something I had neither wished for nor planned. She went on to talk about not being able to turn down the honor of being selected for a presidential commission. Painting Elizabeth Shimatov had begun working on the portrait of the president around noon on April 12, 1945. Roosevelt was being served lunch when he said I have a terrific pain in the back of my head. He then slumped forward in his chair, unconscious, and was carried into his bedroom. The president's attending cardiologist, Dr. Howard Bruin, diagnosed a massive cerebral hemorrhage. Roosevelt never regained consciousness and died at 3.35 p.m. That day, Shimatov never finished the portrait. The unfinished portrait hangs at Roosevelt's former health and relaxation retreat in Warm Springs, Georgia, known as the Little White House. Later, Shimatov decided to finish the portrait in FDR's memory. She painted a new painting based on memory. One difference is that the tie that was red in the original is now blue in the finished painting. All other aspects are completely identical. The finished portrait now resides in the legacy exhibit beside of the original at the Little White House historic site in Warm Springs. See also, Unfinished Work, References